Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Talk ESO with me, Sherman. Today we are going to be talking about the mystery of the fifth tier. So if you guys don't know what the mystery of the fifth tier is, um, during PTS, this uh, when Dragon Bones was first put on PTS, there was in the outfit system a hidden tier. It wasn't hidden, it was actually available to everyone, but it was an extra tier of weapons. Now, this is all speculation, guys. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it is 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 promising. But I will go over all the thoughts that a lot of people have come up with. So, and I'll give you my final thoughts in the end. So this fifth tier, a lot of people are speculating, is a new CP increase in gear. Now, personally, I don't agree. And I'll explain why. First off, if they add an increase of CP to the, ga to the game, the rest of the content either has to be adjusted to meet the game's increase, or our characters are going to become way more overpowered than they already are for the overland content. The devs don't want overland content to become so easy, it's a cakewalk. The game, the developers have been adjusting things since One Tamriel was introduced to kind of balance out our characters to fit into the game world, all that kind of stuff. They're still trying to find the right balance. Anyone who's played the game should know this. Um, but at the same time, I think what they're going to do, and this is just my, my opinion, is I think they're going to do a crafting overhaul. See, right now, and I've heard a lot of people say this, I have a, I have a lot of friends who have played this game, and a lot of them are like, man, I've just got a lot of ingredients wasting away. Like, why do I need all these ingredients if nobody uses them? Like, I even had a friend, he was trying to sell off all of his old ingredients that he doesn't use. He was only going to carry CP160 stuff, and because, like he said... All my characters are there. Why do I need these other materials? I don't craft for anybody. I only craft for myself. And I told him, I said, yeah, it's kind of a, a stupid thing that they did this. They made all these uh, old materials useless. Like, they just take up data space. And when you have 8 million or 10 million created accounts with 2.5 active at any time, or 2.5 million active at any time, that leaves, okay, that leaves a lot of data being taken up by materials alone. With all these people with craft bags and all that kind of stuff that are sitting there on, on tens of thousands of materials that they're never using because what's the point of crafting all these other things when nobody's going to buy it? People are going to buy what, what's available and they're going to go for what's best. So it leaves a lot of useless materials floating around. And this is why the crafting community has been asking for them to do something with crafting for a long time. Now what I think they're going to do, and this is just speculation, guys, is I think they're going to do an overhaul of the crafting system to where it's more like normal Elder Scrolls. How many of you have played Elder Scrolls Skyrim? Elder Scrolls Morrowind Oblivion? You remember how you could wear like iron armor from level 1 all the way to max level? It didn't matter. <laughs> they're going to do the same thing here. But I think what they're going to do is I think the material that you craft out of is going to give you a different benefit. But the best armor you can wear is still going to be, you know, Rubido or Rubidite. But this way it makes crafting more viable for the game because now people can use those crafting materials to craft basic sets and put them in the, in the guild traders and people can buy them at level 1 to 20 or whatever. It doesn't matter because they can use them at any time. I think they're going to remove the CP idea from gear and make it to where gear, when you wear Rubido gear or Rubidite gear, the, red, the best, that's all you can wear. That's the best quality gear you can wear. And I think they're going to change the way the tier system works based on the quality of gear you make. So if you make white quality, it's going to have one look. If you make it green quality, it's going to have another look. Because there's five qualities of, of tier, tiers of quality. There's white, green, blue, purple, and gold. That's five. But what I wouldn't be surprised about is if later down the road, instead of just having legendary, they add another step with an instrumental stat increase to our character. So this, this will increase the trait level, like power. This will increase all that stuff. But it will work in all the gear. So, like, if you craft iron armor with the traits, mundus, you know, or, or, or the different traits, you can craft that armor for somebody 
and craft it up to where it's almost on par with rubidite, but rubidite's still better. This opens up the crafting spectrum to a lot more players, and it makes crafting more viable for a lot of people. Because we can sell to the gear based on the quality of gear and, and make keep a constant gold fluctuation in the, in the market because of this. Because that's the one thing this game is missing. Is a lot of gear even goes to use. Goes to, goes to waste. I have a friend that sits in, in his bank. Sits like 10 gear sets. Because if he makes a new character. He uses those 10 gear sets to level his character to max level. And then once he gets to 50. Boom. He's, he like doesn't even use them again. He puts them back in the bank. Forgets about them. Until he needs them again for another character. But if he could make a character and have one gear set in his bank that he could level that character with, that would be a lot easier and a lot more effective than having these other options. That's what I think they're going to do with the next update, is I think they're going to do a crafting overhaul. I think that's where this Tier 5 comes from. I think that's what the devs are, have, have intended to do for a long time, but they didn't want to introduce it yet because they don't want to get the player's hopes up for a new CP cap. See, if they add a new CP cap to gear, if they don't adjust the world to meet that CP cap of the gear, it makes the, the world useless to those players. They don't want to make the world useless to anyone. They don't want to make it so easy. It's like playing World of Warcraft back in the day. Unlike today, like literally today, when they got the new world scaling system, they want to make it to where your character will fit in the world no matter what. They didn't create one Tamriel not to have that. But to give our characters a huge bonus, like adding a new CP system, a new CP set, wouldn't be advisable because it makes the, the, the one Tamriel idea completely obsolete. But adding a new quality system where we have the white quality, the green quality, the blue quality, purple quality, gold quality, and then add another one that takes it up just one more step makes more sense and they could even say that you can only get the material for that in the end game so people can still play with legendary in the rest of the game and be fine but those who want to play the end game and be really good at in game can get that in in game quality material and 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 not only get it but they can also sell it So this gives them another reason to push people into the in-game experience. Because people will want that gear quality because it's going to be the best. And that's what I think the mystery, mystery of the fifth tier is. I don't think we're getting a new CP. I think we're going to get a crafting overhaul system. Like they're going to redo the whole crafting system to where... It still fits into the game, but it doesn't work the same. Like, it, it, it just different materials work at different qualities. Like, give you different benefits at different, you know, for different types of material. Like, oh, Iron Armor is not the, will give you this much resistances, but Rubidite still gives you the best. You know, Ebon Armor. But this way, it makes all those materials viable. Because then you can craft with all those materials no matter what. Because that's the problem right now is nobody can use those materials for any other reason than to help somebody level a character. And a lot of those materials sit and gather dust. You try to sell a lot of those materials, you can't sell them because nobody wants to use them. What's the point of crafting that stuff if nobody's going to be using that gear in 10 years or 10 months? It's going to waste. But if you can craft somebody a set of gear and say, hey, look, this is the best I can give you for now. Just use it until you can get better. And then if you want, when you get to the point where you're at max level, I'll craft you a new set. Because then you're not wasting, you're, 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 you're able to help them gather, do this, and they can learn to craft themselves. And some of these sets might have, or some of these materials might have perks to them that might make them better than even using rubidite. Like maybe using silk gives you the, a better capability of spell penetration. 
because that's one of the things a lot of people are talking about is like how can we create it how can they do something to create a better system I mean just imagine if you crafted something out of steel steel armor might give you greater resistances than rubidite but rubidite gives you you know overall like is more like the most round well-rounded armor type you know, they, like steel gives you this benefit while this gives you this benefit. We could see something like that introduced, and that's what I'm real. I'm really hoping for is something like that. I don't want to see a near t new tier of gear added to the game because I know it's going to ruin the one Tamriel idea. But and the idea of redoing the crafting system makes sense. Now I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, but if they do this and they make some material better than others, what does that mean for us? Well. It means that we're still in the best stuff we can have right now, but it doesn't mean we can't change to something else in time. Because we can still wear that stuff and still be fine. See, this doesn't ruin the idea of like, oh, well, I got to go craft a whole new set of gear right away. You won't have to because you'll be able to use any material in the game. And it makes a lot of sense. It makes the outfit system stand out more. Because even though you can craft and, you know, like redesign your outfit, if you can craft your, your character to look the way you want to a certain degree, and then you can use the, the, the outfit system to change some stuff around, you could keep your look without having to change too much. And it doesn't create a massive gold sink on the players. Right now, it's going to create a massive gold sink on the players. But the other thing it's going to do, like I said, is it's going to open the door for a lot more options for people to use those materials for. Than just saying, oh, well, I'm just going to have all these materials sitting in my bag and never use them again. you got to think, that's a lot of data being taken up on the, on the, uh, in the game with numbers. Because that's every character, it has to it has to ha keep that information on. If every character has 20 million, eventually, well, iron ore, what's that going to do? That's going to keep create a big number in the game that can cause thing problems with the how the game functions. This is one of the biggest issues World of Warcraft saw was the more materials that they they created for crafting. And everything like that. The more tiers they created for crafting, the bigger the problem became because a lot of people were sitting on resources they never used. Like, I, I literally have, on one of my characters in World of Warcraft, I have so many resources because it's my mule character that I never use half of them. Not even for a new character. Because I can level a new character from one to max level in a couple days. And all that material is useless to me. Even then. Helping new players out, become it, it's useless. The gear becomes useless because now, what's the point of them using that gear if they're going to get out of it in a couple seconds or a couple minutes or a couple hours? What you just crafted for them was useless. You don't create a scaled system like One Tamriel with making all this stuff useless. You want everything to, to have its place and its purpose. This also opens up furniture crafting. It opens up more to furniture crafting, more to this kind of crafting and everything, because now you can craft in any material that you have, and you can craft any furniture in any material. You can craft any armor in any material. And for people playing the game and new to the game, this leveled gear system becomes a useless grind. But if they can actually utilize the gear they, they, they craft for a long period of time until they get their crafting up to the next tier, they can just craft into the next tier. And this makes crafting useful on not just one character, but all your characters then. Because now you can craft with any of your characters no matter what level they are. As long as you can craft the material, with that material you can craft your character an armor set and play them all the way up to max level. With that armor set. And then when you get there, you can get the best quality material and, you know, craft with it because you've raised your crafting level and everything else along the way, you know, in the process. But you, you're still wearing that same gear just until you can get your crafting level up there to utilize that crafting level 
or you can be crafting along the way and, and changing out pieces here and there of the different gear you want to use and learning new traits and stuff. See, that's where the crafting system can really shine. And uh, there has been a silent majority, a really silent majority, that has been asking for an overhaul of the crafting system for a long time or for them to do something with the crafting system for a long time. Because crafters are useless right now. And they're going to become more useless in the next update. Because people will just be able to change out gear sets. Change the look of their gear sets. They don't want that to happen. They want it to be where crafting is part of the game. Otherwise it becomes a useless asset that they created for nothing. And that's where we'll all leave it. And that's the mystery of the fifth tier, guys. That's just my speculations, my thoughts. I know a lot of people want to see new tiers added to the CP system and everything like that. But if they do that, it's going to really ruin the game. Doing something like this doesn't ruin the game. And it creates a new dynamic to the game, allowing people to expand their characters in a greater way. But that's pretty much it. See, vet players aren't going to be affected. New players are going to be affected by it greater. Vet players aren't going to be affected by it as much because it's already they already have it. Old players who have been here for, you know, haven't been here for a long time, don't have good crafting, have the ability to build their characters up in this crafting and make their crafting viable even for them and for friends who come into the game because they can say, hey, you know what? I don't have a lot of materials to craft you this, but I can craft you this, 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 and this of these different materials. And it'll carry you through the game until you can get something better. Ease of access. That's what they're trying to do with the game. And the older the game gets, the ease of access gets harder and harder. They don't want it to get harder and harder. They want it to become easier and easier. Removing the CP system from gear makes sense. Creating a crafting system like this makes sense. Having it the way it is doesn't. Because a lot of things become useless. Potions, food, all that stuff becomes useless. But if I craft something with a low quality food, like low quality stuff, doesn't mean I can't use it. It just means it's not as effective as the best food I can craft. And this would even give players that are free to play, have the ability to craft stuff and keep just those resources they need to craft the things they, they want and they don't need the other resources. They can delete those resources. So they're not taking up space on the server. Then if I make a new character, I can just craft them the gear I want them to have right at the get-go, give them armor that I got them from a dungeon, and that character will be fine all the way through the max game, through max level. I won't have to change a thing until I find something better for him to use. This is where gear farming, all that stuff, the whole concept gets dwindled down some and it makes things more available and everything like that because people are already doing that now. People are already farming. Like, I have a friend who farmed out like specific gear sets for his characters. So he had them at different levels. And he puts them in the, he puts them in the bank, literally. So he has two gear sets at max at their max quality for his characters every five levels he can go to the bank and swap them out every five levels think about that from one to fifty every five levels that's ten gear sets that he changes between until he hits fifty or forty five so actually nine gear sets at fifty he just puts on the best gear he can get for his character and goes right into doing what he needs to do to get skill points and stuff like that so he can be viable for end game and he doesn't worry about anything else because he has the tools already to do that. That's what this crafting system can do to make life easier for those players. You got to think about it, guys. We're, we can already hit CP 160 or, you know, max CP. All, any character we make is already there. It's the tedious process of getting them from there to that point to where they can do that content is the time, very time consuming. They're going to remove the time consumption. A majority of that time consumption by saying, hey, you know what, if you are that good of a player and you have that much, you know, materials, that kind of thing, yeah, we're going to let you go ahead and craft that gear and give them that gear set. Right away, boom, here you go, go use it.
it's ease of access. And that's what they've been doing for the last six months, is trying to make the game easier for not only veteran players, but also new players. They did this with one Tamriel changing to the, the world scaled, si like the world system being it the way it is, to where it's like you can go anywhere at any time. Ease of access. Dungeons and Trials, they've got them set now to specific levels for the group binder, but the rest of the time, there's not. And that's what I'll be covering in my next video, is talking about dungeons and trials, and it, how you can start doing those and getting in and getting involved, doing dungeons and trials, no matter what level you are. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I know that uh, it was a lot of speculation, but truth is, that's what I see happening. Because if they don't do something soon to the crafting, the game's crafting system, a lot of crafters are just not going to be able to, do, it's going to become a useless system. So, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you in game. Bye.